candle real quick. Hello everyone, it's time for another creepy scary video. For tonight's video, I decided that we were going to play another scary game. And this is a scary game that Brittany44 has also played. I really enjoy her videos. She is what inspired me to want to make my own creepy and scary videos. So we are going to be playing the Black Mirror tonight. So yeah, I don't want anybody to try and think that I'm copying her. I'm just a really big fan and I'm not trying to copy her. I just really wanted to play the game after seeing her play it. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that and get that out of the way. I'm just going to go ahead and first tell you how to play this game and then I'm going to go into playing it myself. Black Mirror is a scary ritual that is used to contact the spirits of the dead. Or Mirror Skyring. It was developed by researcher Ron Moody based on rituals found in ancient Egyptian and Greek scrolls. Black Mirror is a method of contacting a ghost. This game is really simple to play. All you need is a mirror, boom, a dark room, which I'm going to have here in just a few seconds, a comfortable chair, I'm going to skip the chair because Brittany did and hers, so I'm going to do that too, and a dim light bulb or a candle. I have a candle. Okay, step one. Find a dark, empty room and place a mirror high up on the wall. I already have a mirror, so I don't have to do that. Angle the mirror so that nothing is reflected but darkness. Step two, light a candle or turn on a light that has the same brightness as a single candle. I have a single candle, so I don't have to worry about that either. Okay, step three, place the chair in the middle of the room. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Step four, relax and gaze deeply into the mirror. Think of the dead person you want to see. Don't think about anything else. Just clear your mind and concentrate only on that person that you are trying to contact and that person only. The spirit of the dead person should appear to you. Just be patient. When Ron Moody was conducting experiments using this method, he led 300 people through these steps and it had an 80% success rate. So, Brittany didn't see anything in her. She was trying to contact her grandmother. So I think I'm going to try and do the same thing. I'm going to try and contact my passed on great grandmother. Her name was Ruby. So I'm going to be saying Mama Ruby. So yeah, I'm going to try and contact her and I'm going to be using this mirror. Now my room is completely empty, but it is going to be dark because I will be turning out all the lights. So yeah, it's just going to be me and my candle. I think that I'm going to leave my lights on my bed on because it's just too complicated to turn off and maybe my walking dead lights. But other than that, this room is going to be complete pitch dark and yeah I'm gonna be trying to do this so let's see how this happens all right so I'm gonna do this sort of the way that Brittany 44 did this and I'm just going to be using a flashlight to, so you guys can kind of see my face but I'm also gonna have my candle at the same time so I'm just gonna kind of angle this a certain way where you can kind of see my face because my lights aren't as bright as hers were so yeah I want you guys to still be able to see my face somehow so let me just do this like that if I can angle this a certain way where I can do this okay oh my god I seriously just thought I heard something in here that is so freaky Okay, so I have to sit back and relax and hold the candle and think of the dead one who I want to contact. So, here we go. Oh my god. My cats are being really loud, so if you guys hear that, I'm sorry.
Oh my god, my light just went out. That is so freaky. Oh my god, it just went out. Hang on. Guys, my light literally just went out on me. I think I got the wax on my candle by the way that I was holding it, so try to be a little bit more careful this time. Either that or I blew it out with my breath. Let's try this again. supposed to sit here. I'm just going to set her for a few more minutes. If I don't see anything, I'm going to stop. see anything. I don't think I'm going to find anything, so I'm going to quit for right now. I think I got, yeah, my candle went down the wax. That sucks. Well, I'm not going to be able to burn that anymore. Okay. Well, let me come back over there to you guys. <laughs> Nothing happened. As you can see, I blew out my candle. I think that that was my own fault because the way that I was holding it, I accidentally made the wax go over top of the wick. So it kind of like blew out on me. So I'm probably never going to be able to burn that candle again which sucks really bad because I like that candle, but I can use it on my candle warmer because I do have one of those, so it's not going to completely go to waste. I'll still be able to use it somehow, but yeah, this was still a really freaky game regardless. Um, I only remember my Mama Ruby, my great, the, my great Mama Ruby, um, very faintly because like, I didn't really know her all that well. Like, she was there before I was born, and then only when I was, like, a really small kid. So I wasn't, like, there as long as I wanted to be around her. But I do remember the night that she passed away and going up there and stuff. So, um, yeah, I remember her very faintly, but I just thought that it would be someone cool to try and find and see and it's really kind of cold and chilly in here right now and I don't know like it wasn't even that cold today so that's kind of weird like the only thing that really was weird about it was I thought I heard an EVP like with my own ears like outside of the camera before I play the game that was kind of freaky whenever I was trying to move my chair out of the way I accidentally dropped my skull on the floor so um yeah this kind of happened where I just 
accidentally made a big chunk of his the skull break again so now there's like a big gaping hole in the side of it but if you turn him a certain way you can't really see it and i can probably just use a hot glue gun or something and glue it back but you guys should totally play this game if you're brave enough you don't have to if you're not brave enough but if you are you should totally play it and then send me the video of you playing it if you would like me to play this game again and do a second round feel free to let me know i will also link all of um, britney's videos down in the description so you can go follow her subscribe to her and watch her videos as well because she was the one that i found this game out from and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video even though nothing really freaky happened and yeah i'll see you guys next time